Hello everyone and welcome to session number nine of evolution and paleobiology. We're nearing the end of this course now, I'm somewhat sorry to say. Um, doesn't time fly? Um, and in this particular set of videos, what we're going to be looking at is the distribution of fossils in time and space, otherwise known as paleobiogeography. So as with the last couple of um, sessions from myself, the last three in fact, um, I'm going to be covering uh, this topic in four videos and then I'm going to be adding a tiny bit of extra information, kind of some uh, another topic in a fifth session associated with our Zoom, which will be, I can't remember the date for this one, but it will be in early December sometime, I'm fairly sure. So in this lecture, we're going to cover first an introduction to paleobiography and a tiny bit of history about the uh, topic. We're going to then move on to the principles of paleobiogeography in the kind of loosest sense, basically defining some terms. And we're going to look into things called biogeographic provinces. We're going to look at um, processes that are involved in paleobiogeography in video number three, so barriers, mixing and evolution. And then in video number four, I thought it would be really nice to end with a strongly fossil driven example of the level of detail you can get um, regarding past continents and past oceans by looking at the distribution of different kinds of fossils. And I'm gonna be using the Iapetus Ocean, which you'll learn all about in video number four to illustrate this point. In Zoom, I'm planning on us covering some of the patterns of biodiversity that we can see today and in deep time, and we can have a look at how those have changed over time. So that's it for this introductory video. We're going to start off in video number one, and I will see you there in just a few minutes time, I would imagine. See you soon.